Hey, it's Fan Fantasy and I cover tactical and immersive games like Gunner Heat PC. And previously I've done a video on showcasing some of the mods that are popping up for this game. And I think this may be an ongoing video series, so make sure to check out the previous video. And of course, if you guys enjoyed my video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. So in this video, I do want to highlight some of the new updates to the current mods, as well as the new ones and some interesting ones. So stick around. And again, if you're wondering on how to install these mods, my first video talks about installing a program called Melon Loader and where to put these mods. As always, install these mods at your own risk and make sure to check out the updates on GitHub. The first mod I want to highlight is the M1A1 Abrams Amp made by the Heat Shell Enthusiast. This mod builds on top of the Beninator's original M1A1 Abrams mod. Essentially what this mod does is that it adds more options to the M1A1 and you can choose from either the M1A1 HA Heavy Armor or the HC Heavy Common or HU for Heavy Ultra. The mod also comes with the M1E1 which was an experimental tank which had the 120mm smoothbore main gun and this will replace the original M1. You can choose the ammo type variations like the MA29A1, A2 or A3s or even the A4s as well as the heat rounds like the MA30s, A2s and the one that I want to highlight is the XM1147 amp which is an air burst or point detonation round. Simply choose your M1A1 variant, you can go into the GHPC folder, go into your user data and open up the Melon Preferences config and change the variant that you want. If you're interested in the stats of this mod and the protection of the armor and penetration and things like that, check out the GitHub for more. And so to demonstrate the airburst rounds, to simply use it, you need to laser your target and then move up the crosser and fire. And to get a wider range of the airbursts, you will need to move your crosshairs a little higher to get an effective kill range. Pretty sure this will be useful once infantry is added, but this is what we got so far. Next on my list is by the Beninator, and it's called the Pack Increased Lethality. It's more so of a package for buffing up the Warsaw Pack tanks, and more so with the T55 and the current T72M and M1 models. Keep in mind that some of these things are not historically accurate, but this will give you a bit of advantage for the East Germans. The mod package for the T55 comes with a laser rangefinder, which you can see on the side when you laze, but you'll have to manually set the range. And as a tip, always use the hood on the bottom left to see your range, regardless of the round that you have. In terms of the T72M or the M1, well you can see here they have finally figured out how to physically alter and shape the models of the tanks. And they have indeed added the Contact 1 ERA, which stands for Explosive Reactive Armor, which I'll show you guys how it works later. The T-72M and the M1 are also given thermals, and like I said, it may not be historically accurate in terms of the thermal tech, which wasn't really a thing for Soviet tanks until post-Cold War. But you can turn it on by pressing T, but do know that it is limited in its field of view. Gun smokes will blind the therm. They're also given better AP rounds, such as the 3BM-22, which is better than the default 3BM-15. Fifteens. So along with this development, the next mod I want to show you is more of an update that I've previously covered and that's the T-72B by Switch Admiral. With the help of the Beninator, the Explosive Reactive Armor has been added to the T-72B, so make sure to update it if you haven't already. And so now I want to show you guys how the ERA Contact 1 works. Not only is it just cosmetics, but it also does change the way that you play as the pack. Alright, to show you how the ERA works in this mod, so you can see here the T-72B in front of me has ERA on it. So I'm going to shoot a heat round just to demonstrate that it works. So I'm going to shoot it right there. Normally you wouldn't use heat against a tank, but just in case if you need it to. So you can see here it took out one of the blocks out. I'm going to fire another one. There you go. And see it's still alive. So right now I'm on the T-72B and we haven't taken any damage so far. We're okay. And it did took out some of our blocks. So yeah, one of the cool things about this mod is that it actually does model that. And I'm going to go to our tool launcher right here. And the ERA actually does protect the tank itself. It does beef it up in that way. I'm going to fire one right now. And look at it. It's still okay. Yep, no damage so far to it. Looks pretty good. And you can see right here, it did took out a few blocks. Alright, and we'll fire another tool on the side. And 
And again, this tank is pretty good so far. So we fired our first heat round and it actually detonated the ERA stopped by the contact one ERA. Right here, the tow launcher detonated the ERA and was stopped by it too. So it didn't go through the tank. And there you go. That's the T-72B mod with the ERA and the pack lethality mod pack, which you can check out. And so, yeah, that's one of the neat features and development for the modding scene for Gunner Heat PC. Now, the next one may look like your average T-72 in Gunner Heat PC, but this is the M84A mod by Swish Admiral. The M84A is the Yugoslavian main battle tank in the 80s and was based on the exported T-72M, and it came with many improvements and upgrades. In terms of its armor, it had better protection due to its improved composite armor. And the turret was also well protected. While using the same main gun as the regular T-72M, the fire control systems were considered one of the best. The SUV M84 was computerized and had sensors to calculate the pressure, wind, and speed. And our site, called the DNNS-2, had its own integrated laser rangefinder, and there are thermals for this tank. M84 has a 1000 horsepower engine, which is way more powerful than the exported T-72M. And what was really impressive was that this was all domestically produced by Yugoslavia before it split. In terms of this mod and Gunner Heat PC, the M84 will replace the T-72s, and it comes with its own ammo type rounds, such as the M88. You'll be able to switch to thermals, as you can see here, by pressing T. The fire control system will allow you to laze and get a lead on a target without doing it manually. Even though the tank's max speed is stuck at 70 kilometers per hour, you'll be able to get to the max speed faster, and you'll be able to climb hills quickly. There's also a downloadable livery that you can add to this mod, and instructions are found on the GitHub. And so yeah, there's a lot of things in this mod that will change the way you play as a T-72. And do expect some more updates for this mod. Next on the mod list, are you tired of feeling nauseous or dizzy on the BMP-1? Well, no worries, because this mod here stabilizes the 73mm Grom smoothbore gun and the ATGM for the BMP-1P. I also want to show you this pretty ridiculous mod, and that's the 50mm Bradley by the Pendinator. This mod replaces the regular 25mm with the 50mm autocannon. Heat rounds still have air burst functionality. This Super Bradley has a fire and forget top attack missile. So yeah, you can expect this Bradley to destroy whatever is in its path. Simply blast your way through the folder gap. And as a bonus, the next thing I want to show you is more of a concept of modding, and more specifically the gunner's sight. And this was done by the Beninator. And shout out to Raz for showing me this mod. And as you can see here, it is the Challenger 1 reticle sights. It's a little weird to be playing as an Abrams with the Challenger 1 sight, but it does show you the possibilities of the modding scene in Gunner Heat PC. I do have footage from Steel Beast on the Challenger 2, but it does look pretty soon. And overall, it's quite interesting to see this. And that's it for this mod highlight video. I'll probably make this more of a monthly series, but let me know if you're interested in this type of video in the comments below. You can always join my Discord community to stay up to date and to connect. Make sure to hit that like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and your support means a lot. As always, I'll see you in my next video.